What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Shop Talk Tuesday. So if you're new to this video series, what this is all about is a commentary based type thing where I answer a viewer's question, I talk about a viewer's comment, then we go into what we have working in the background that's not going to be making it into the Friday Build videos, then we'll go into what will be coming up in the Friday Build videos, plus we'll talk about some things that are changing on the channel, and then we're going to go into a viewers knife section where if y'all remember to send me a picture of one of your knives I will talk about the knife, tell people about it and uh, if you're a YouTuber I will link your YouTube channel in the description and all that then we go into a thing that I use on a daily basis in the shop that makes my life easier as a creator so for the viewers comment on this particular one I'm actually gonna try and answer a few in one now uh, I've got on plenty of different videos uh, people who say can you get rid of the music I hate the music what in the hell's wrong with that banjo that damn banjo okay <laughs> I'm just gonna have y'all tell me in the comment section because most of the people who watch these shop talk Tuesdays are the people who watch every single video that I put out do y'all want music do y'all like the voiceover do y'all want nothing do y'all just want to hear just tools? I'd like to know what y'all want. Uh, I like doing the voiceovers for the how-to videos and showing y'all what I'm doing and talking about it as I go through. Um, I was doing just the Friday Bill videos with the music, so you just had music and then you could still hear the tools. One of my pet peeves is whenever people have the music going and they just turn the sound off when it comes to the tools. So you can't hear any tools, all you hear is music. I tried to make sure that you had music and tools, just to have a little bit of atmosphere and stuff like that. And the reason why I went with the banjo music is I wanted to do something that wasn't like your stereotypical dubstep or hip hop or just full blown rock and roll. I wanted something that was just calm, peaceful, chill, relaxed music, and that's what I came up with. But Evidently, people cannot handle that banjo. <laughs> but I would like to know, what do y'all want? Do y'all want me to go back to doing the music? Do y'all like me doing just the voiceovers? Do you want a little bit of music and some voiceover? I can do pretty much any of those things. Or I can just absolutely shut up and not talk during them and let y'all just watch them. So let me know in the comment section what y'all would like. Now whenever it comes to the things that I have working in the background I'm only gonna hit on one today and uh, that is this little guy that I was working on so I make these every once in a while this is a knife made out of a wrench I make these for friends and people that are mechanics and stuff like that and sell them so we have that one and I had to figure out a way to make a sheath for this. If you look at this knife, it tapers all the way to the front, no matter which direction you're looking at it. So it's trying to figure out where you put the retention on a sheath for this knife. And what I figured up was right here. And then I had to figure out, okay, how am I gonna do that? That's how I came up with this right here. So the retention is right here. Whenever you put this knife in there, it clicks in place. So I was able to get that in there real good. And then I did a rectangular sheath because I wanted to be able to use this clip. And the way this mounts is on your belt and it hangs like that. And it is very flat against your body. When you gotta pull it out, you just pinky in there and you're good but that's one of the things that I was working in the background I had a lot of thought that had to go into this right here but I love the way this turned out so that's what I have working in the background that I wasn't gonna make a, a video for but I'm just trying to play with sheaths and make different types of them and really work with this the material and figure out how it works what it can heat up to what it can do what it can be molded to fit all of those things um 
I plan on making a couple of gun holsters so that I can actually try that out, see how that goes. I've got a couple of uh, appendix carry holsters for my personal guns that I carry on a daily basis and I want to be able to make a few of those to to try them out so I'm gonna do that might not film those just because YouTube's real weird about having guns on your channels you'll get demonetized real fast so yeah um, now what do I have working so y'all saw this one this is what we just finished up and I absolutely love this knife this is going to be my personal carry. I'm going to make a cool sheath for it. You know, I was thinking about doing a leather sheath, but I'm going to make just a badass multi-layer Kydex sheath for this. And that's what I'm going to do. That's my plan. It's just going to be a badass sheath, and that's my that is my goal. <laughs> um, so what are we working on? Well, y'all saw the video release yesterday where we're starting this process right here on this rasp knife. Now this is made out of a farrier's rasp. So we have this one going on. And then we do have the videos that are gonna be coming up after that are gonna be making this knife right here. And I get into how I came up with the design on this and my thought process behind this knife in that vlog series so that's gonna be pretty cool and then uh, what I thought about doing was actually changing up the way I release videos a little bit for right now while we're doing the daily vlog I figured instead of having a build video on Friday I would just keep doing the video series that way you get a video every single day and it doesn't make any sense for me to put one whole build into one day on that Friday whenever I can actually go into breaking it down and showing you all of those things. Now, I'm not going to be just doing a vlog thing where you're going to see me going out, riding my bicycle, going to the post office, you know, all that stuff. Pretty much every vlog that I do is going to have knife content, it's going to have how to's, it's going to have builds it's going to have all of those things so y'all aren't going to miss out on any just awesome content it's going to be all just me making stuff so we aren't at that point to where i do enough interesting stuff on a daily basis to do a vlog so everything that you're going to see is going to be me building things and i think that instead of doing you know the friday build videos it's going to be just build videos the whole entire time and uh, we're gonna do this daily vlog thing while I can and I'm just gonna keep creating as much content for you as I can you know I had it set up to do a hundred and four videos this year and I'm probably gonna end up doing about 200 videos this year so y'all are gonna get a lot of content hopefully uh, if you haven't subscribed yet you go ahead and subscribe so you actually get notified of when I release all those things. So we are going to have that coming up now. Um, we are going to hop into the viewers knife section of this. I have been sent pictures for a few people's knives. So awesome guys. Uh, definitely. If you want to be a part of this section, send me a picture of your knife. Uh, I don't care if it is your first knife. It's your 25th knife, your 500th knife. I would love to see it. So make sure send a picture to this email right here. Tell me a little bit about the knife. Tell me about yourself. If you're a YouTuber, link your YouTube channel so that I can post that in the description, you know, and get you some traffic. So make sure you do that. Now, the knife today is this one right here. And this is by JR. This is a very nice looking knife. I, I love the handle scales on this knife. Absolutely love them. I like the oversized pins. But what this is, so this was designed to be a bushcraft slash Skinner knife. It's made out of 1095. It has oak handle scales and it's, it's beautiful oak. Like guys, I really want to do handle scales like this. I, I like these handle scales. They're beautiful. Um, we got three eighths brass pins. Pretty good size pins. I haven't, uh, haven't really seen anybody do pins that size, so I, I like that. Um, now, this particular knife, 
was made for his son's birthday and he's got it, plans for his son to be able to use this for hunting and skinning deer and hogs and it's just going to be and that's going to be an awesome knife and an awesome birthday present for him uh, I just you know anything that you make with your hands and give that to your your kids or your grandkids is just something that they will love forever I plan on doing one for my son it is this right here he calls it the raptor claw this was designed on a napkin by my son and uh, I'm gonna be making this little guy right here for him and he will eventually have that he's only 10 right now he does have his you know little Leatherman setups where he can whittle wood and use the pliers and do all that stuff but I, I plan on giving him that on one of his birthdays but uh, JR thank you for sending in that submission for the viewers knife and guys make sure y'all do that like I said but let's hop into the thing that I use in the shop on a daily basis that makes my life easier as a creator. This one actually hits pretty hard for uh, what we have going on right now with the whole COVID-19 and everybody buying up all the masks and respirators and gloves to where you could only buy one box of gloves and one mask and all that stuff. So this right here, I hit on this, and I think probably my first video, this is what I use in the shop on a daily basis as my respirator type thing this is amazing if you don't have a huge beard or something like that get one of these it goes all the way around it goes all the way around and uh, what I like about this is the fact that these are replaceable you can get just the filter elements and swap them out all you have to have is just this piece right here. These get changed out so you're not having to go out and buy a bunch of masks. This is by RZ Masks. I'm going to leave a link for them in the description. Not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just something that I've been using for a while now. It's super comfortable. I love it. It doesn't fog up my glasses. So guys, think about investing in something like that so that all you have to do is get the filters and you don't have to buy the whole mask every single time you do need a mask. Uh, but guys, that's the end of this one. I will be hitting on a giveaway here soon. I don't know exactly what subscriber count I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing it on, but it's gonna be an awesome giveaway. It's gonna be like an EDC bag with a uh, EDC knife, that whole entire shindig. So I'll let y'all know whenever I actually think about the subscriber count and what we're gonna be doing and when I'm gonna be doing it, whenever we get to that point. But thank y'all for coming by. If you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up, share one of my videos that I've done in the past that might be your favorite, and if you haven't yet, which I'd be surprised about, hit the subscriber button, that way you get notified of whenever I have all my content coming out. I know most of y'all are subscribed because if you're watching this, you're pretty diehard subscribers. And guys, thank y'all for coming by, thank y'all for checking this video out, y'all have an amazing day, I'll catch y'all next time.